It's 21 minutes after 8 o'clock this morning. You know, it's been more than 40 years since the first baby was born as a result of in vitro fertilization here in the United States. And now tens of thousands of IVF babies are born every year. Elizabeth Carr was thrust into the spotlight in 1981, featured here on Life magazine, uh, pictured in the lab where she was conceived. Now she is telling the story about her birth and advocating for fertility education. Her new book is called Under the Microscope. Elizabeth is in Jacksonville today. We're going to tell you how you can meet her in just a minute. Elizabeth joins us live along with Dr. Samuel Brown with Brown Fertility. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. So Elizabeth, if, if I may start with you, I mean, you, you've joked that you've been in the spotlight since you were three cells old. What is your message to couples who are maybe hesitant to ask for help if they've been having trouble conceiving? Sure. So I think the most important thing for people who are having trouble conceiving is to realize that they are not unique, that this is actually incredibly common, that uh, the best thing they can do is seek out an expert like Dr. Brown here and have those tough conversations and understand that there's nothing wrong with needing a little help to get here. That's how I got here. <laughs> right. And do you find that a lack of understanding about IVF in particular prevents couples from, from getting help? I mean, especially since you were, were referred to at the time as, as a test tube baby 40 years ago. Sure, I think a lot of people still don't understand the procedure and actually what happens and what it entails. And a lot of people don't realize that there are other options other than IVF out there that they might be candidates for that might be more effective and less costly. So ironically, Dr. Brown, you were a fellow with Elizabeth's doctor and as a local doctor, you have spent years helping couples conceive. When is it time for a couple to consider IVF? IVF is necessary for those that have certain types of infertility. So anybody having infertility or having trouble getting pregnant should come see an expert, and then we determine if that's appropriate for them or not. It, it's interesting that there, there is a process. I mean, not every couple necessarily needs IVF, right? I mean, there may be an issue that can be cleared up leading to pregnancy. Correct. Most patients conceive with the help of a fertility specialist by simpler means. They don't have to proceed to the more aggressive means we have like assisted reproduction with IVF. So yeah, most patients can see with the simpler uh, treatments that we have. Would you just explain, uh, you know, basically uh, about IVF? Because I think that there is this thought that, that these are, are, are children that are essentially, you know, spend all this time in a test tube, which is not true. Yeah, I think, I wish I had a different name, like uh, assisted reproduction. IVF is a little imposing. Um, it, it's very natural. It's a natural human egg with a natural human sperm. And we have the privilege of watching the fertilization events happen and embryos developing and putting them back into a natural uterus. And we see beautiful baby, natural babies born from this process. So it has a name that doesn't infer natural, but it is very natural. As we know by looking at this beautiful woman standing next or sitting next to you, um, so so a big obstacle, as we know, with IVF can be can be uh, you know treatment and cost. Almost fifty percent of families don't have insurance that covers it. Are there any resources available for them, doctor? Things have changed dramatically now. You know, in, insurance will pay almost a hundred percent of the time for patients to come in and meet a fertility specialist. So it's free essentially, except for copays or deductibles. And actually in Florida, things have changed dramatically. Now half, if, for those that require IVF, almost half the time it's covered by, in, by insurance. So it's a great time to come see a fertility specialist. It's, it's not financially imposing like uh, its reputation has. Elizabeth, what would you say is the most common question that you receive from people in the public when you meet them? Sure, I think the most common question I get is from other uh, parents who are going through IVF uh, asking me, how do I tell my child? And I always say I was a, I'm a terrible person to ask that question because I've known since I was three cells old, essentially, how I got here. Um, but, you know, just using that simple language of, you know, mommy and daddy wanted to have a child and couldn't do that with the help of some very special doctors. So which is fantastic. Thank you for sharing your story, Elizabeth. We appreciate it. And we went and Dr. Brown, thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate you.